guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kim and we are a zombie. So if you wanna see how we got this look, it was definitely a process, but just stay tuned and keep on watching. Hello! <laughs> I gotta stop shimming when I get on here. It's zombie night! I'm feeling all the brain vibes. Odin's even coming in. I think this was my favorite one to get ready for because I didn't have to do my hair. <laughs> But I wanna show you the easiest way to like rat your hair and make it look um, dreadlocked is with a dog brush. I know it sounds weird, but if you want your hair to look um, like this, because who wouldn't want their hair to look like this? I feel kind of like punk rocky. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Say hi when you get on, by the way. All right, so I'm gonna show you how I got my hair in this situation, which I know you're jealous. Don't be jealous, it's fine. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So you get your dog brush. Um, mine still has dog hair in it. Cause that's just me. And then you go like this and then you just comb up. Look at that amazing volume. You thought you were tuning into a Halloween tutorial. It is a hair video, you guys. I'm just kidding, it's not, but isn't that cool? So it kind of like instantly dreads your hair. And um, it's pretty awesome. I look like a sleepy zombie, like I just woke up. I was also having a um, contact situation. I couldn't think of a contact to wear. I have my blinders which I might put in at the end, but I figured these blues, they're kind of zombie-ish, so we're gonna go with it. Okay, so that's, that's my hair spiel. If you wanna get hair like this, use a dog brush. Odin hair not included, okay. But I really wanted to look disheveled, and I painted my chest to look like I was very, very hungry, <laughs> which I am. <laughs> I'm always hungry when I come on these. Okay, so we're doing a zombie. We're gonna do more of like a, not a gory zombie because one, I don't do special effects and two, uh, I just don't want to. <laughs> oh, and then I guess I should also say, I made this shirt. It was really easy um, to get the blood. You just mix cocoa powder and water. You probably don't want to know any of this. Hi, Lola. But you mix cocoa powder and water until it mixes up and then it's kind of like uh, chocolate water. <laughs> and then you put red food coloring in there. And then you, I just cut holes and messed around with them and then sprayed blood all over an old shirt. So that's how I made this shirt. That's how we got here. <laughs> if you're here and you're wondering who the heck I am, my name's Kim. Um, most of these products are gonna be unique. Uh, some of them will not, but if you're interested in any of the products and you wanna look like a zombie or if you wanna look like, I know a girl, it's me, if you haven't caught on. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> okay, so with this look, I was gonna go with like the blacks and the whites, but when I started doing this, you can see like it's mostly purple and it looks more, I guess, undead than like a black and white. Oh, now my head's itchy. But so we're gonna do purples. Purples and very little black. I don't know if that's surprising to you, but it was surprising to me. And then we're just gonna try and look as creepy as possible. This hair might, uh, might have to go. I feel very like 80s. Okay, mm, mm, mm. let's just start before I lose all my viewers. Okay, <laughs> so I'm gonna start using palette three, which is purples, blacks. We've got like a gray purple in there. We'll see what it does. And then I've also got this palette, which has got some dark purples. We're not gonna use the shimmery ones. And then we're gonna break in to this eyebrow palette because we just love this eyebrow palette for everything but eyebrows. Hi, Caroline. All right, so I'm just gonna start by making myself look very tired. Done. Just kidding. So I'm gonna use this, it's like a dusty rose color and it's really pretty as eyeshadow, but it like brings on the tired. Like, do you see that? This is Friday Kim. This is Wednesday Kim. Yes. So I was, I think I might put my blind contacts in when I'm all done. We'll see. I can't see with them in, so I can't do my makeup with them, but I think they would really kick this up a notch. Okay, so zombies are just, they are very sunken in. I say that like they're a real thing. Um, all the zombies I know <laughs> look very dehydrated. So we're just gonna try and emulate that with contour and highlight. Yeah, I've got them. Let's just hope that they're not like all my other contacts when I put them in and they like mace me. I don't know what it is about getting LASIK and putting contacts in, but holy crap. That's Odin trying to rake my carpet up. If you're wondering what the weird noises are, it's always Odin. Okay, are you guys digging this so far? 
I've basically given myself two black eyes. <laughs> Zombie look complete. Okay, I'm gonna get a denser packed brush. We'll use this one. And I'm going to map out where I want my eyelids. I probably should have blocked my eyebrows out, but uh, I spent so much time on my chest that I didn't. So we started with eyebrows. Boo hoo. We'll just use part of them as a, as a contour. So I'm gonna go right underneath my eyebrow. We're basically just creating those sunken in eye sockets because we're a zombie and we don't drink our water. Okay. I feel like I look kind of like a bruised raccoon. Not what I was going for, but uh, we're here. Raccoons and zombies do have a lot of stuff in common. <laughs> They're hungry. They live in uh, gross places. I'm rambling, can you tell? So this is gonna look weird. I feel like I have to defend myself. This is gonna look weird until we get to the end. Just bear with me, people. Low light situations. Halloween is a low light situation makeup. Okay, so I'm just really kind of poking this into my skeleton, my skull. See that? You just kind of go in where your natural bones are and that will be the easiest to recreate because you can fill your bones. You don't have to uh, try and look for or create other ones. So we're just trying to look really tired, really hungry, really dehydrated. Kim on a normal day. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab a dense packed shader brush. And I like these ones that are skinny and rounded because the denser packed ones, you can really place the eyeshadow, but when they're flat like this, you can also do your shading. You know what I mean? So we are going to use our eyebrow. And I saw this uh, zombie. I don't really know what it would be, but it had these like bones. Maybe like normal skeletons have bones right there. I don't know, let's look. Let's look behind the curtain. Okay. So, you like how I just have all these props? So I guess what I'm trying to create is that bone, whatever that bone is. If anybody knows, let me know what that bone is. Let's do a little lesson on my live. Name that bone. Okay. I guess I could just keep this little skeleton guy out and use him as a, a reference. But do you see what I'm trying to do here? So I guess this would be like, I'm gonna call it the wrong thing, Tem no, whatever this is. I wanna call it a temporal bone. But my brain was like, say tempera, Kim, say tempera. <laughs> but okay, so see, I'm just laying my brush flat and going back and forth and it's creating that shadow. That's a sexy shadow. Then we'll just color that in. Yes, mm -hmm. it's like instant, uh, instant weight loss right there. Okay, what do we think so far? Give me the hearts if you're digging it. Odin's licking his feet. I don't know if anybody else's dog does this, but Odin licks his feet. And it sounds disgusting, but um, it's what he wants to do, so you have to listen to it. But it's weird, does anybody else's dog do that? I think he only does it when I'm on live. Well, he does it like the loudest when I'm on here. He just wants to be part of the live. Oh my gosh, Odin. Wait, hold on. Alexa, turn the volume up to four. That was totally unintentional. Can you hear it? Alexa, volume six. Sorry, I'm gonna have to take a dance break. Alexa, stop. Alexa, stop. Oh my gosh, I hate when she doesn't listen to me. Alexa, please stop. There we go, maybe I just had to say please. Okay, <laughs> sorry, I got totally sidetracked. I heard zombie playing in the background and I was like, yeah, you gotta turn it up. And then Alexa just decided to uh, be a snatch bag. That's how Alexa is with me. I swear most of my day is fighting with Alexa or Siri. Hmm, I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, she's funny. 
She's a fun gal to have around. Okay. Oh, yes. Kind of have like the angry brow thing going on. It might not be even, and that's fine. It doesn't have to be. We're a zombie. Okay. Now, let's go in with a darker color. We're gonna go in with this berry, this raspberry. We're gonna do the top of our face and then we'll do the bottom. Hang in there, guys. I just dipped into the wrong color. It's fine, it's fine. Odin, chill with the licking, dude. He's like, okay. So I'm going in with this raspberry color into my eyebrow because this is going to be our, uh, we have to cheat since I didn't block out my eyebrows. This is gonna be our contour. And then carry it down here. This is a good look for me. What do you guys think? Date night look? So what's everybody else gonna be for Halloween? Because I actually think I might do Halloween. Hi, Mom! I might do Halloween. Uh, I haven't bought any candy yet, so I haven't committed to answering my door. But I think I'm gonna try. That's all I can do. But I haven't decided what I'm gonna be. But I do think I'm gonna do a live on Halloween. It'll just have to be earlier so that I'm not having to answer the door during my live, you know what I mean? Okay. I just kind of made a pink eyebrow. It's not what I was going for. We'll fix it. That should be my motto. I need that on a shirt. It's okay, we'll fix it. <laughs> Somebody needs to get on that. Whoever makes t-shirts, we need one. Just one. I am looking more like a raccoon than a zombie. This is kind of funny, in a not funny way. It'll come together, it better. If not, you'll just have to sit here and listen to Odin lick his, uh, lick his paws. Cause he's really into it tonight. Okay. So I'm kind of angling my eyes out a little bit this way. Gosh, Odin with the licking. It sounds horrible. I don't even know what it sounds like on your end, but it sounds so weird to me. Odin, hey, quit licking your paws. It's creepy. <laughs> yeah, see, I should just buy a bag of candy and eat it. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be, uh, a very uneventful Halloween. Hi, Jasmine. Okay. How did we get here in our life? <laughs> Let's take this brush. We're gonna take this deep purple color and we're gonna start um, creating some deeper shadows. Like this whole eye socket area. We want to be a shadow, but we also don't wanna just black it out. We kinda want a gradient effect. Yeah, I definitely have to buy candy I don't like. I'm not supposed to eat candy because I'm off sugar, but it does not help when you have like your favorite candy in the house. I have heard that Costco is the best buy for candy, but I don't know. I am going to Costco. But I don't know if I want to commit to a Costco sized bag of handing out. <laughs> We just created the world's biggest black eye. Okay, I say that a lot. I think okay is my favorite word. I like to reassure myself. These blue contacts are kind of tripping me out too. Okay, let's see. I really hope I can make this zombie thing come together. Cause if not, we're turning this into a full on raccoon. I'm pretty sure I could swing a raccoon right now. But by adding the light pink 
and then the other pink, and then this purple, we're creating depth. And that's what you want, because if you don't have depth, depth, then you just look like a skeleton. And even skeletons have depth. depth. Okay, let's take a fluffy shader brush. Get up here in these. A little bit of that paint color. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. These are some, I wonder if this is like the brow bone? Well, this is the brow bone. Still trying to figure out what those are called. I wanna say it's an indent, the temporal indent. That's what we'll call it. And then I feel like right here, we would have some kind of indentation. I don't know, we're just making things up. Making things up as we go. Okay, so I know one way to look really sick is like a red color in your eyelid. So I don't know if this is too red, but it's Primal Liner. That's the name, Primal. We'll see if we can look sickly. If not, we can always tone it down. That might be a little too red. Not what I was going for, but it really contrasts with that blue. I'm poking this all over the place. I cannot see in contacts. Okay, so that'll just add to it. We look ill. We look like we have blood in our eyes, but it's just liner. Okay, I'm going to take this same brush and we're going to dip it in the black. And this is going to go in the very tops and outer corners because it's going to look the farthest in. Does that make sense? I should probably do this in the mirror, not in my phone. And I have my brush turned sideways because it's doing the shading for me when I have it turned like that. It's making Odin breathe heavy. He's really digging it. So is anybody on this live going to be a zombie for Halloween? That would be interesting. Who else is a zombie? And if you're gonna be a zombie, are you gonna be like a super gory zombie or a glam zombie? I guess there's no such thing as a glam zombie, but you can do whatever. Odin has left the building. No more weird looking noises. Okay. Now I'm just gonna kinda use the tip of this brush to bring down a little bit of the black, but not too much. We just wanna soften that line. eyes look super white and I think that's throwing me off. Odin's back. <laughs> Odin, you need to lay down and be a good boy. Okay, let's do a little contouring. I feel like we need to contour. Okay, I'm going to use my contour brush and I'm going to go in with this dusty rose that we used before. And I'm going to follow my natural contour. We got to remember we have like no cheek fat. Mm -hmm. Feeling skinny. I am so good at getting things uneven. I think it's when I try to do things in my phone is when I screw it up the most. <laughs> I'll just angle this like this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
it's in your head. Now that song's gonna be stuck in my head. I can't believe it came on while we're on here. Facebook's probably gonna jack my video for it. It's fine. Hmm, feeling sexy. Feel kind of like a cat. We're just gonna start putting this pink color in all sorts of places. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna take the other side of my contour brush and it's still black from when I did my chest. And we're gonna do that berry color. So we're basically just playing around with pinks and purples at this point and some black. I think it's going pretty well. What do you think? So we're doing the same thing. This thing is just like um, a big eyeshadow brush like this. It's flat, it's rounded, it's dirty, but it does the shading for you when you turn it on its side. Get it into the chin. I thought I had a booger hanging out. That would have been embarrassing. I feel like I want to show my chest more. That's like the opposite of normal Kim. But I normally don't have like an amazing chest like this. <laughs> Ooh, I look old with those shadows here. Mm-hmm. I look evil. Evil. And we'll just take whatever's left on the brush and go over our original lines. And then we're gonna go in with our deepest color, this dark purple or plum. I don't know what you'd call that. Sure, there's a name for it, but I just can't think of it. <laughs> and we're just gonna go on the, the main line, and then we'll take a brush and buff that down. But that's really gonna set the contour. This is like a Kim Kardashian uh, zombie. Okay, and then we're just gonna grab this brush and just soften it a little bit. Then drag whatever's left down. I look like a really bruised zombie. Nobody took care of this zombie. Okay. I feel like my chin looks a little too, I don't know, not dead. I'm just gonna put some dark stuff on my chin. We'll contour that. Okay. Are you getting the zombie vibes or are you getting like, I'm old, old AF. Don't worry, if you're there and you're thinking, you just look like an old lady, hang in there. It'll come together. <laughs> That's my motto, it'll come together, it's okay. <laughs> we'll fix it. All right, now I'm gonna do some detail work. My favorite is detail work. I'm gonna get a small brush. I don't even know, oh, it's a concealer brush from e.l.f. I think this would be the right size if you were putting the concealer on an e.l.f. because it's a little too small for that. Okay, I'm gonna get into our eyeshadow palette. We're gonna work with these cool brown tones. They are cool, but they are actually cool toned. Okay, and then I'm gonna dip into both and we're gonna trace some of these wrinkles wrinkles I've always had really deep forehead wrinkles I have deeper forehead wrinkles than my mom which is fine because my mom's only like 29 years old so just kidding she's 34 okay now we're really looking our age guys 
You should have seen me making this like chest thing. I was like trying to get every like nook and cranny that I could possibly get. I think it turned out pretty good. My face is gonna be a little bit different. But I'm just trying to get as much like scowl lines. Cause I don't think there are many um, happy zombies. Zombie lives matter guys. Just make weird faces on Facebook Live. And so I'm just dragging this into my uh, crevasses. Watch, Facebook's gonna like freeze this video on that face. It's gonna be amazing. People are gonna be like, yeah, she's pretty. She's pretty, pretty something. I'm just putting it everywhere. So I'm dipping into this color, this color, and this wax. No reason, just because I want to. Definitely making me look scary. Okay, now I'm giving myself lip wrinkles from years of smoking, guys. weird I hope it's not weird for you but um if you're like me whenever I watch somebody I'm a mimicker so like when I'm watching TV I do a lot of nodding and like when somebody's doing something I just get really into it so I can only imagine if anybody's like me watching this if they're like making these same faces if you are I feel you I think I'm making my face look a little bit more pudgy than it needs to be. I need to think in dehydration terms. I'm just gonna drag down a couple lines here. We're going to um, fix them, but I do want some lines going down. I don't know why, I just do. <laughs> Maybe I'll deepen up these lower lip things. <laughs> I look weird. <laughs> Let's um, take this deluxe brush. This one's actually sold by me. And then we're just gonna go through and kind of buff those lines out. My lips are so dry, you know what? Let's just make it worse. We're gonna take this color Grateful. It's a camel brown. We're gonna put it on our lips. Mmm, so sexy. This would be a great color if you're like into the nude browns. Mm -hmm. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that purple and we're just gonna go like this. There we go. We look a little more dead now. It was bothering me. Dead people don't have pink lips. Now let's go through and soften these up just a skosh. Hi, Morgan. Isn't this the best you've ever seen me look? <laughs> okay, so with adding the wax when you do this, it does keep that like defined line, but it also allows you to buff. So we're buffing. 
or like buffy. <laughs> you know, I'm just trying to look my best. It's all a girl can do. Hi, Madison. Or Maddie. It's so weird when you're like reading things. You know, like normal people do when they read. <laughs> okay. So we're just buffing. Hi, Christy. We got the whole Fowler family on, you guys. <laughs> I appreciate it. We need to hang out soon. Bo and I have been talking about it. We need some, we need some Fowler family time. Okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Are you getting zombie vibes, you guys? Click on hearts if you're feeling this zombie. Click on the thumbs up if you think I still look like a raccoon. <laughs> oh, Roger's here! Subscriber number six! <laughs> I still need to print that out and sign it for you. All right. So, I feel like we need a little more detail around these eyes. We need to look a little more tired. So, I'm going to make eye bags. Hi, Stacy. Thanks for thinking I'm beautiful. <laughs> That's exactly what I was going for. <laughs> I'm just a beautiful girl tonight. Okay, so I'm really going to uh, accentuate my eye bags. And these are actually there for real because uh, I can't sleep. I'm just too excited about dead people. That's why I can't sleep. But it definitely helps out with the the illusion of making myself look tired because... This girl's actually really tired. Yeah, see, I I don't know, it depends, but I definitely have them. They are like gonna cost extra if I ever go flying somewhere. No blame. But we're gonna make them look worse. Okay. Yes, look how much more tired I look. <laughs> That's what I'm here for, guys. You have you have the problem, and I'm just gonna show you how to make it worse. So if you have eye bags, add a second one. Why not have more? I'm sharing the wealth. Okay. I think I might actually add like one little tiny one. Underneath. Because zombies don't drink enough water. There we go. Mm -hmm. Are you guys feeling this? Okay. Fill in the tired. Okay, now I feel like we need to look more dead. Do you feel like we look dead enough? I don't feel like I'm dead enough. I'm dead on the inside. I'm gonna deepen my, uh, my things, my eyebrow things. Mm, that looks nice. Mm -hmm. I'm actually going to make these a little bit darker. Yeah. Yas! I don't know who started the whole Yas thing, but I think I'm just now like getting into it. <laughs> It's been like my thing this week. I've said it so much that it annoys even me. So if it annoys you, I understand. I'm right there with you. Will I stop? No. I'm gonna wear this one out. Okay. Do you see that? Gravy int. If I can do it, you can do it. I look like a girl who knows what she's doing. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Okay, and then we're gonna deepen this one. But you see how adding layers um, adds depth. So it kind of looks real. 
as real as a zombie can be. So who on this live is fully 100% prepared for a zombie apocalypse if it happens? Because I know there's preppers and I would bet that I have some on my friends list. Not judging or anything. I think it's always good to be prepared for weird things. I'll just make sure to steer clear of your house when I'm dressed up like this. <laughs> I think I need to um, do a little bit more with this. Or maybe I should just try and start making myself look a little more dead. Let's go in here. We're gonna go in with these brown colors. These cool brown colors. We're just gonna start dragging down right here because we made those marks and I kind of forgot about them. So now we're gonna try and buff them out. That's what we're doing. I forgot. This side's not as dark as the other one. What happened there? I'm gonna kind of drag this in. I feel like I look like I have too much fat in my cheeks. I'm not supposed to have any. Okay. What do you think? Maybe we should connect these here. Yeah, that makes me look more angry. I'm so angry that I'm dead. Ugh, such a drag. Okay, let's start um, highlighting and putting gross stuff on my face. So I'm going to use things that were in a Halloween kit that I saved from years ago. So I came with this sponge thing, and then I came with this sponge thing, and we're just going to kind of dip them into different colors and hope for the best. I'm gonna do a lot, a lot of yellow, um, because yellow is like a naturally sickly looking color. And then we'll do some purples, some browns, We'll just be all over the place. So I'm going to dip into yellow first with this uh, with this sponge. Ooh, that just dripped on my good eyeshadow. And then I'm just going to tap, 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 tap. Oh yeah, doesn't this look like authentic zombie? Bright yellow, maybe like a paintball zombie. We'll fix it guys, don't worry. Don't get discouraged now. We've made it this far. This hair, I swear. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with, um, let's do some cream foundation that's in a shade that's not my color. So we'll use actual foundation, which is the color taffeta, if you are wondering. And we're gonna go in with this brush, and then we'll just start highlighting. And this might not turn out. Um, I'm starting to regret it a little bit. That yellow color is a little intense. It's fine though, it's fine. I might have to go in with some greens, do a little color correcting. This might turn out to be an actual uh, beauty video. But we'll see where it goes. We'll see where it takes us. Okay. Hmm. Got a little ham with the yellow. Not one of my best moments. What have we done? Now I feel like we can't turn back. We just gotta go with it. So now we're gonna go in with some brown and hope for the best. And we're gonna go it down with some white so that we don't do a yellow thing like we just did. Oh, that's too much white. There we go. So who liked this before I got carried away with the yellow? Oh, the things you do when you're nervous. It's okay, at least we'll look dirty. It's all about the details, people. <laughs> oh, we should probably like get some of this on my neck. Especially that yellow. That yellow is giving me life.
Mm-hmm. Feels amazing on my skin. Being undead. Okay. I'm going to stop with like the colors because I think that uh, I would get carried away. Let's just deepen up some stuff and then we'll be done. <laughs> we'll be done and undead. We'll hope for the best. Okay, I'm going to take some black and we're just going to go in where we went in with the black earlier. But we're just going to make it look a lot blacker. If that's, if that's possible. I'm just going to make it look like my soul. All right, I'm feeling a little better now that I got some, uh, some black eyeshadow on my face. Hi, Les. Yes, you would be like the resident zombie specialist here. We're not going for gore, mostly because I don't do special effects, but we are going for creepy. Okay, I'm just gonna set those lines again. I know we've already done this, but then we screwed it all up. Nobody stopped me. I wonder if you hear a weird drinking sound. It's Freya, drinking out of the toilet, like the lady she is. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. I lied. I'm gonna stop after I do this. You're screwed, don't be screwed. All right, I feel like I need to contour my chin again. This is kind of like winged liner, people. Once you get it, just quit adding to it. And we do look a little better now that we're sickly and yellow, but it also kind of took away from it. All right, I'm gonna call that good. I gave myself a leno chin. How'd I do that? Let's cut a little bit of that off. Just a little bit. Okay. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like I was thorough enough? Oh, I got one more thing. Well, I've got a few things now. But uh, have any of you ever heard of charcoal toothpaste? Because if you haven't, you're about to see why it's amazing and very messy. So, usually you use a toothbrush, but I didn't bring one because I didn't think of that. But zombies don't have pearly white teeth and my teeth look super white. So we're gonna put some charcoal toothpaste in our mouth. Not your teeth, oh yeah, they're... So, this is uh, food safe. I don't know if it is. It's supposed to be organic. So, this is actually my toothpaste. <laughs> this is so weird. I feel very pretty right now. And it tastes like um, mint, which is kind of fun. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> I don't think I've ever felt like more self-conscious than when I put that crap in my mouth. <laughs> okay, so. Yes, this is our zombie look. Do you feel like I look like a zombie? I'm so hungry. <laughs> All right, now let's kick it up a notch. Let's kick it up a notch. Are you guys ready for this? If you're ready for this, give me all the thumbs up. All the thumbs up. I want them all. Or the hearts, I can do the hearts. We're gonna get, we're gonna get weird up in here. See, I think the blue contacts definitely make me look a little more dead. You ready for this? How's that? I can't see. I can see out of one eye, but I put them both in, but I really can't see out of these things. <laughs> so we'll just cover my hair up with a, my awesome What do we think? That's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. This is weird. 
So, this is our look for tonight. Zombie. It's a zombie. I wanna eat your brains. I wanna take you home and eat your brains. I don't know what zombies would sing, but I think if I was a zombie, I would be a very musical zombie. <laughs> Cause I'm a very musical human, so. But this is the look and it was done with mostly eyeshadows. So if you're thinking that you can't come up with a cool look for Halloween, think again, cause you could be a cool zombie. Now that we've done the look and I've had a second to look at it, I definitely think that all the steps were needed. Um, even though we messed up some of our contour, it's fine. And we may look like we kind of have a beard, that's fine too. I honestly can't see how it looks, so I'm just gonna assume it looks amazing. It actually does. It's really creepy, there's a lot of depth, but it's just eyeshadows and an eyebrow palette, which is pretty amazing. And some amazing charcoal toothpaste, <laughs> which I will link in the description just in case you wanna know what I use on my teeth. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. If you are, click the notification bell so that you can be notified when I upload videos. And if you wanna follow me on Facebook, I will put the link in the description below because I do go live on Facebook every Wednesday night. See you guys later, bye. Oh my God, I literally can't see anything. I'm done.